Understanding your personality and preferences can make a huge difference on how you interact with other people, how they perceive you, and your experience of life in general. So this video is part of a series introducing personality profiling tools, how you interpret them, and how to apply them. Now in this video, I'm going to explain what the Insights Discovery tool is, which is our preferred model, uh, what you receive when you do the test, and why it's such a useful tool. Ahoy, Peter here from Brighter Training, and welcome to our first video on the Insights Discovery Personality Profiling Tool. Now, whether you're new to our channel or an existing and most appreciated follower, uh, welcome. Now, you can use the timestamps in the description below if you need to come back and review a specific section of the video. And of course, if you find these videos useful, please remember hit like and subscribe and share your experiences in the comment section. Personality profiles, there is a bunch of them out there and we've previously done a video on their validity and how they're best used. So check that out if you want a more general overview. My preferred model is the Insights Discovery model, which is what I'll talk about in this series. And this is a program that we run with teams to help them understand themselves and other people. It's all about how you show up for work and how you can have the self-awareness to be flexible with your approach to working with other people. Now most of the profiling tools are similar and if you've used a different type such as DISC or MBTI, then you'll still be able to relate to this. And if you've never done one, then you can play along and guess your type. The power of these tools really is in the self-reflection. So what is Insights Discovery? It's a personality profiling tool based on the work of Carl Jung, uh, and it includes some terms that some of you may be familiar with. It contains 72 different types of profile that people can be assigned to. And then the great thing about this tool is that it then simplifies that into a really easy to use four quadrant color model so that you can easily apply the concepts. So Insights Discovery is about connections. Specifically, it's about improving them. Have you ever wanted to connect with someone or needed to and noticed that their different personal style can at times prevent you from establishing a good connection with them? Keep that person in mind throughout these videos so that you've got something to apply these concepts to. So the purpose of these profiles is to develop your own personal effectiveness. And you do that by exploring and discovering more about yourself then learning how to recognize and appreciate the differences in others until finally you can learn to adapt your behavior to interact more effectively with other people. So how can you get your profile? So working with an accredited insights discovery trainer, such as our team at Brighter Training, and you can find our contact details in the description below, uh, you can organize to access a personality evaluator, which is a 25 question survey, and that explores your preferences in different situations. It's usually done from the perspective of a particular context, such as work. And after completing the evaluator, you're given a pretty comprehensive profile that explores different aspects of your personality and preferences, such as strengths and weaknesses, or communication styles, maybe your blind spots, your management style, and your motivation. So your profile looks like this. Uh, and as you can see, it gives you a breakdown of uh, all your different preferences and behaviors and what they may be. The details of each profile is unique and there's only a tiny chance of you having the same report as somebody else. And in your report, you also get a series of graphs and charts that indicate the different attributes that you tend to use most at work, the attributes that you would prefer to use and how much effort it takes you to really use those various tools. So once you receive your report, you sit down with an accredited trainer who can walk you through each section in detail, helping you to interpret the various graphs and the sections. So it's all about perception. Uh, consider this glass of water. Now is it half full or half empty? And some people will say it's completely full just with a different combination of water and air. Uh, and most of us have also seen illusions like this. So do you see the old woman or the young lady or both? And once you see both, have you noticed that it's almost impossible to unsee it? And what's really interesting is that if I ask you to tell me about the respective women, their ages or their stories, you could probably make some assumptions based on your own experience. And who can forget the internet sensation of the dress? Some people see gold and white, some see blue and black, some even see completely different color combinations. I've never run a workshop where all the participants see exactly the same thing. 
So think about it, have you ever experienced a situation where you saw things one way and someone else saw them very differently? So what's the impact and how do you resolve your differences? And importantly, how can you become aware and overcome any of the biases in your own perception? So perception is the key. We can disagree and both be right. Uh, we perceive things according to what we know and what we believe and different personality types can be worlds apart. So to summarize this introduction on insights discovery, consider that perception is not always reality. We see ourselves and others based on who we are and your perception of yourself is not always the same as others' perceptions of you. There's a huge value to having different perceptions to individuals, teams and organizations and it's these differences and diversity that really allows us to innovate, come up with new ideas and solve problems. So there's real importance in being self-aware and taking these learnings forward as we explore this topic further. And that's the value in exploring personality profiles. So in the next video, I'll introduce the insights discovery colors and explain the different personality types. You can find out more about insights discovery on our website or feel free to contact us directly. Our details are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.